What's up guys, Cajun here. Let me make sure it's recording. Yes it is. I'm doing this with the back camera because while I'm back home, as you can see, flags of the room put up by Kyle. Um, but yeah, I'm back in the apartment. Everything's cool, everything's awesome. I hope y'all can see me. Um, but something better. We got something. My parents got me something on the way back. And it's for school. A couple of you could probably already guess. But it is a new saxophone. Oh my goodness. We're going to turn the lighting down a bit. It's a custom EX Yamaha. So that's cool. Cool stuff. And we're, we're actually going to unbox it. I haven't taken it out yet. Um, I, I mean, I've looked at it, but I haven't taken it out fully yet. So we're going to see what's in this first little pouch right here. Um, okay. This case is amazing, by the way. A lot of pockets for, like, music and stuff, I guess. So, cool. And this isn't going to be for marching band. This is going to be strictly for concert band. Now, if we take this zipper off and pull that out, we get this, which I kind of... Oh, you can... Okay, I get it. And then you can zip it back. And you can make your backpack. Cool. Cool beans. So, backpack straps, always good. Always good to have uh, for an instrument case, especially when you're walking long distances to the band room, which, I mean, the band room is not really that long of a distance, but it's better than carrying it in your hand all that way. So, let's come on, go in. Okay. Okay. We'll zip that up. We'll zip that up. That's really all the outside stuff. And now for the main event. Is it? Uh, yes, it's up here. Okay. Unzip this. Unzip this. Oh, come on. Here we go. And here we go. Voila. Still everything in bag and everything. So first we're going to take out the neck, which, again, I haven't taken any of this out. I'm sorry that the camera is going to be so close because I don't want to drop this because, um, this is about a $4,000 instrument. Just saying. Four or $5,000 right here. So good neck. It looks different than my other one. I wish I had my other one. Um, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks different. It's not by the same brand. Oh, custom, custom six, if you can read it. If it'll focus. Can I flip this around and will it be? No, it's, that's going to be upside down. Okay, I'm going to try and focus right here. That's too dark. That's too light. Anyway, you could slightly make out it. Say, oh, there we go. Somewhat. It says Custom 6. So, it, it, it's very cool. Very cool. Put that back in the next slot. Okay, this is going to be a pain to take out. For some reason, can't take the mouthpiece out. There we go. Um, I don't know why it has a read on it already. Because no one's played in it. On it. In it. No one's played in it. Yeah. That is true. No one's played in it. Um, so let's see what kind of mouthpiece this is. Um, it's probably a Yamaha as well. I like this, this, this cover for the mouthpiece. I'm going to take that off real quick. And it is indeed your uh, Yamaha. Uh, definitely different than my own. Um, I don't trust this reed, but I kind of want to, uh, and you can see here it's square on the inside, sort of, kind of, let me raise the brightness up a bit, you can see it's, it's square, anyway, 
Oh, there's the brightness. You can see it's square up in there. Okay. Anyway, enough with the mouthpiece. I'm gonna look at that later. Put you back in here, sir. I'm gonna have to take that out a couple times. Uh, warranty stuff. Cleaning kit. I believe this is an extract. I actually don't know what the heck this is. This actually might be a carrying strap. Let's open it and find out. Um, this is the one thing that's taped shut. It's the one thing that is taped shut. Indeed it would be. Um, and it is. It is a shoulder strap. So we have an extra strap in case we don't like the backpack. This is just a singular shoulder strap, so you can just hook it onto your, to your shoulder like this, sort of, kind of. Okay. Alright. So. Alright, on to the main part of the saxophone, which I will be taking out for the first time. I'll put you down for a sec. And, oh wait, does this have a furry stick of doom? Does it? I don't know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm a furry stick of doom. If you don't know how to play saxophone. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. Oh my god. It does not have a furry stick of doom, it's just a, it's just a cap. Okay, so, here we go. Main body of the saxophone. It is shiny and gorgeous. You can even see me in there. Hasada. Uh, custom EX again. I really want to focus on this. There we go. Established. 1887. And the designs on it are so great. It has like Hawaiian flowers and stuff. It's so cool. It's very elegant. The design is just amazing. Now, the only differences I've seen... Okay, we can, we can focus far now. Uh, the only differences I've seen so far with just how it's built... Okay, are we going to focus now? Or are we just going to... Come on. Come on. Are, are we not going to focus? Well, come on. There we go. So, the really the only thing I've noticed build-wise, and that it has it has a little bit of, bigger of a bell, um, just a, a wee bit bigger of a bell, and it feels like it's longer from the bottom to the bell. Like this little extra piece right there is a couple more inches longer. So, I'm going to play this off camera, um, which, oh, I was wondering why that key was down, but there is a cork right there. There's a piece of cork right there, so I was about to say, this thing better not be broken, it's $4,000. If it's broken, I'm going to be bad. Uh, but no, uh, I'm pretty sure free repairs or 20% off repairs for a good while, so yeah. Um, so we'll put that back. I'll play a bit on it after this, but yeah, guys. New saxophone. I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to play it. And, uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy this unboxing, I guess, sort of, kind of, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Um, new videos should be coming out soon since I am back home. We do have a football game tomorrow, so this will probably this will probably go up Saturday. Um, Sunday, I'll try and wake up early, record a couple videos, schedule them, or upload them, schedule them, and um, 